No boxes were actually hurt during the filming. Please enjoy. Got the mind of a winner. You don't know the difference. See that hate up in your eyes, little buddy. What you sipping? Oh, you think I'm out of bounds? Then go ahead, blow the whistle. I can't help but turn the heat up. Let them watch me sizzle. Try to figure me out. That's a complicated riddle. Got an outside game and I still can work the middle. Oh, I'm about to blow the speakers. Won't you crank it up a little? What's going on, all my frag heads and set heads? The champ is here. And I'm about to tell you what's fragging. So first and foremost, forgive the setting. I'm experimenting with a new set. So I'm gonna get a new backdrop. So you see this curtain behind me or this sheet? It's gonna be a backdrop soon. Don't worry about that. Also got some new props I can kind of turn around and entertain more with like the fragrance I'm bringing you today. I've been, you know, working on that for y'all. You know, and then present it. But more importantly, I have a special guest today that I want to show you guys. Y'all see him? You see the Kang? The Kang? LeBron James. My man's painted this for me. Shout out, bruh, bruh. Also, shout out to Mr. Phelps, who does my intro music, by the way, just to let y'all know. His profile's in the link down below. So, Forgive me as well. I feel comfortable with you guys already. So I don't have my glasses on. I didn't do my hair. I didn't shave. And I didn't even put a bra on. So you're going to get under boob and man cleave this entire shot, okay? But let's get into the reason why you're watching today. That's going to be the unboxing of a fragrance that I recently got. And that is Roberto Cavalli. Womo. Funny story about this. I hop out the shower and I'm like, what am I going to wear? And I'm going through my collection and I still see this wrapped. So I thought to myself, hmm, this is an unboxing and a first impression video. Said, do it. So hopefully this thing isn't child proof or else I'm going to have a hard time. Getting into it, boom, there we go. Let's see if I struggle with this part. Uh oh guys, things are going smoothly. So, ooh, that's kind of sexy. This looks sexy. It almost reminds me like a Versace bottle. That's sexiness right there. So I heard about this fragrance from my man Cuba Nose. Everybody knows who Cuba Nose is. Um, he said it was a sexy fragrance, man. So that's the only review I saw on this, and I trust Cuba's nose because Cuba knows. <laughs> so I haven't read anything on Fra Fragrantica about this. I haven't watched too many reviews. I think when I did, it was a couple months ago. Um, this was one of those things to where I needed something in the cart <laughs> to get that free shipping. So I said, you know what? This was on the list. Let me get it. And I totally spaced out that I had it. So, like I said, I don't even know the notes in this thing. So, together, we're going to find out. Actually, I'm going to test it, and I may be totally wrong because I'm not your tr traditional reviewer. I'm your review entertainer. I'm going to copyright that. But before we get into the scent, I've always wanted to do this. Big, big business. <laughs> So let's get into it. Boom. Nice atomizer. Ooh. It's a ooh, it's a sexy floral. It's lavender. I get lavender. You get something sweet too. It's not vanilla. It's not benzoin. It's not tonka. What is this? Maybe saffron, maybe? Oh my God, this is good. This kind of reminds me of
prod alone in a way, but without the iris. It's like they replaced the iris with a lavender. That's what this is. Oh my God, this is good. So as of right now, on my scale of no, maybe so, will it get holes? This is gonna get you holes, but I'm gonna have to test the dry down on this thing, um, the longevity, the projection, you know, all that good stuff. So a review will be coming soon. However, as of now, just the initial blast, this thing is sexy. Look at the bottle. I like this. Like with the black and the gold, it reminds me of like royalty, almost like purple and gold, you know? Like this is just beautiful. This would be beautiful sitting with the rest of my collection. So um, I'm kind of glad I got this just from what I smell so far. Now I'm going to be really upset. Oh, you know what? It smells like a fresh take on Armani's Stronger With You. But it's that sweetness in it. I can't pick that up because I don't think I don't think saffron's and stronger with you. I think that's cin cinnamon maybe. But yeah, so that's gonna do it for our first impression. Hopefully you liked it. Make sure you subscribe, you hit the bell, you like the video. Also leave a comment if you've ever heard of this or if you own it or if you sampled it and what's your thoughts on this. Until the next video, I am Fraghead Said, the champ. Thank you for watching. Blessings.